This is Robert with Pioneer Smokehouses, and today we're going to use the Char Griller E1224 Smoking Pro to make some barbecued chicken thighs. First step is, is that I took the chicken thighs and I um, cleaned them up. I uh, lightly rinsed them and patted them completely dry and let them sit on the counter for a minute. Then I put a um, spice mixture which consists of my standard 321 rub with a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Now, poultry seasoning has a base of sage and some other seasonings mixed together, and you can just buy that at any store out of their uh, regular seasoning section. It's pretty standard, and it's really common taste like for uh, Thanksgiving turkeys and stuff like that. So I put a light coat on both sides, and then I flipped it over and put another additional coat on the top, but not too heavy. And then what I did was I lightly sprayed the top with a little bit of olive oil. I like to do that. I think that it helps uh, keep the seasonings in place, and it also gives a little bit of something extra to the skin. I don't want it soaking wet with oil. I just want it coated to keep it moist for through the cook. Now. I'm going to go ahead and put these on here, and then we'll talk about that. I usually start with the biggest one in the warmest location, and then I kind of just spread them out from there. You can see these two here have been skinned, and my wife prefers her chicken skinless, so I... Uh, Go ahead and just set it up that way. I'll go ahead and close this, um, but first, note that I have it on a grill mat, and something else that I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert a probe in the grill mat itself. The reason I do this is so that way I can get a temperature of the cooking surface. That just a little farther in there. So I know exactly what the temperature is right where the chicken is. Now let's go ahead and turn that on. And then we'll be able to monitor it. Of course, we know what the temperature is here and we're climbing up. Uh, we were just under or above 200 a minute ago. And then I went ahead and added some uh, more charcoal and some wood to it. And you go ahead and take a look there and you can see right when I open it up, that wood just catches on fire because that extra oxygen gives it all the uh, fuel it needs to flare up a little bit. But there's a fresh piece of lump charcoal and then there's some other charcoal down there that's been going good. After a couple of minutes, I'll go ahead and turn that and uh, get the charcoal side up so that way they actually produce more heat um, by having the charcoal up. If you rotate your lump charcoal so the burning side is facing up, I have found that it actually burns a little bit hotter. And the lump charcoal definitely burns clean almost all the time, probably cleaner than anything else. But if I want a little bit of extra smoke, I just throw in a piece of unlit wood chunk in there. And as it goes to light, it will smoke heavy. And then once it lights, the smoke goes away. So we're gonna go ahead and run this for about an hour. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sauce it up and then We'll run it for another hour to get the sauce all nice and cooked on there with the smoky flavor. And then we'll put a little bit more sauce on and grill it off. So we should have some nice barbecue, smoky, grilled chicken. Um, in today's recipe, I will be using sugar-free, so you have to uh, remember that it's not gonna have the caramelization that a regular sauce would have that most people like yourself would use at home. Let's go ahead and take a break here. That's gonna be about an hour for me and one second for you. It's time to go ahead and check the chicken and then put a little sauce on it. Now I did already peek in here a little bit and uh, we're running at about 225. I did just throw a couple of wood chunks in there and got them lit beforehand. So that way we could uh, add a little bit of heat and temperature real fast. And then, uh, we're going for a little bit higher temperature, but you can see the wood is putting off just a little bit of smoke, which is really nice. I don't know if you can get a good look there, but uh, let's grab a pitcher. There's that pitcher for you right there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of barbecue sauce. I don't wanna overdo it here. I just wanna coat it lightly. 
So I'm just gonna put a drop on each one. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on here. Now I just use a store-bought barbecue sauce, but if you wanna make some, now I have a lot of barbecue sauce recipes, including um, one that I use Diet Coke or Diet Dr. Pepper with that makes an excellent uh, low sugar barbecue sauce. Uh, but honestly, this is one of my favorite brands and so I use it on a regular basis. Now if you wanted to get it a little bit easier, you could take and put a oven safe dish in here with a little bit of barbecue sauce in there and a couple of drops of water and uh, you could keep it hot and thinned out so it would be easier to baste. But it's not necessary, you don't have to do that at all. Now with the temperature is popping back up, we had the lid open an awful long time and we're back at 225 now, maybe closer to 235. It's over 200 on the uh, surface itself. I'm gonna go ahead and drop another block in there. And you can see it's burning here, so I'm gonna try to keep this away from the fire. Get it to the back there. So the reason I put that towards the back and away from the fire is, is because I want it to get hot and I want it to start smoldering, but I don't necessarily want it to catch on fire. I want it to generate some smoke and add some flavor to that sauce. So as long as we don't do a lot of it like that, we won't end up with bitter smoke. If we do a bunch, then we'll end up with dirty smoke and it'll taste bad in the food. A little bit and it'll just add to it just a touch. If it gets out of control, you just blow on it real quick and it'll light right on fire. Now let's go ahead and take another break. I'm going to flip those over after that barbecue sauce sets and coat the other side and then repeat that process and flip it back. We should have about another maybe 45 minutes to go before it's actually done. At that point then we'll want to get it into a place to keep it warm, either a uh, warming oven or just wrap it tight and put it in a cooler like you do when you rest a brisket. We'll be back in about 20 minutes for me and one second for you. It's time to flip that chicken over. Oh boy. I gotta tell you that just by looking at it, I'm thinking it's pretty close to done. One fifty eight. That means it's done. So we're going to flip it over and glaze it, and then I'm going to go ahead and grill it off. I got to be honest, that looks pretty good. I would eat it without barbecue sauce. So now we're going to grill this, but instead of taking it to the propane grill, we're going to grill it right here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to thin a spot out here. Make sure we get the charcoal spread enough here. Something to keep in mind is, is that the lump charcoal burns really hot. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna use one of the large grates. I could use a small one, but it would be hard to get in there. But by using one of these large ones, I can put it in there like that. 
So you see I have this grill grate in here now and I can just take this and put it on there. Let's grab the next one. Pretty much always use the biggest ones first, get those cooked because the smaller ones only take a second. The idea is just to get them down in there really close and get them charred real fast. And it is definitely hot in there. You can see how quick that chars up. Hopefully you can see through that smoke. So you can see I've just dropped them all in there. I'm just trying to keep it right in the center directly over the charcoal. Only takes one minute on each side to get what I'm going for. Okay, that was one minute on each side. I'm just gonna scrape this off a little bit in here. Then I'm gonna take that and flip it real quick. I wanna burn the oils off of that really quick. I don't need to do a lot with it, but just by doing that and making sure that there's no debris left on it, it'll clean up real nice real quick. Just fine. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit. And just let that burn off. With that little amount there, there won't be a lot of, uh, a lot of ashes generated. And it'll just burn itself out and it'll also uh, re-season the smoker. And actually, it might even come down low enough temperature that we could use this as a warming. Because I need it down about 165 or 100, and maybe 170 degrees. I don't want it up in the 180 or above range. We just need to keep the food above 145 to hold it for an hour. Let's go ahead and sample one of these. Let's do this one because this was uh, smaller of the first two that I did. Look at that, nice and juicy. One day I'm gonna learn to bring a knife out with me. Look at that. Position that a little bit. Let's get a bite. But well, that is awesome. The skin could have been a little crispier. The last chicken that I did, the skin was a little crispier. Uh, it tastes really good, but it's definitely kind of like a soft bake. Let's not leave any behind. So there you go. That's a really simple barbecued chicken recipe. And uh, we're just kind of getting the feel of this char griller. I want to be able to know exactly how the temperature is going to react 
and what's going to happen by how much charcoal that I put in there and where I put it. And the best thing for a offset manual smoker like this is practice. There's nothing better than that. Um, keep in mind, air open all the way on both ends. And when I need more temperature, I add more fuel. If you want it to be smoother, pre-light your fuel. If you want a little bit of smoke in there, then throw in unlit fuel. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this down. And then uh, I'll watch the temperature for a couple minutes and see if it holds at the temperature I want. And uh, then I'll let it go until dinner time. Thank you for watching. And if you saw something you like in the video, affiliate links are below. If you use those, I will get compensated. It won't cost you anything extra. So have a great day and thanks for watching.